Hey, Shalom, Yasharala. This is Esakar coming back at you with more prophecy update. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wa, Raha, Kwadash. And double honor to the man that taught me the 100% truth according to the Holy Scriptures, the elders, apostles of Great Millstone. And I welcome back to part two of secret meeting in Switzerland and more cyber attacks and part one it was a brief uh, 7 to 10 minute video going into uh, Klaus Schwab which he is the uh, the CEO or the uh, chief executive uh, officer or the main head of the uh, World Economic Forum okay Klaus Schwab cyber attack on America but we warned you before he did. So if you haven't done so, you know, go ahead and uh, watch and um, get edified in part one. And real quick, for you all brothers that want to be more uh, more in tune with the uh, prophecy, make sure you uh, subscribe to one of the uh, one of the leaders of uh, the camp of Men of Valor. He goes by the uh, Hebrew name of uh, Bakwar. Okay, there's this channel right here, Bakwar, and uh, he also goes into uh, more in depth into prophecy. He goes into, you know, the, uh, the the meetings, okay, or the annual meetings that take place out there in uh, Switzerland as well. Okay, this brother goes into famine. He goes into uh, topics of uh, World War Three. Which matter of fact, let's get a quick precept. This is Sirach and the Apocrypha 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the agents and be occupied in prophecies. You see that? So a man of the Lord, primarily the prophets, not only will he give his mind to the law, which the law is very important, Okay, it tells you there in the book of Isaiah, I think that's the 8th chapter, to the law and to the testimony. Okay, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. So, as the men of the Lord, we must uh, apply, okay, these, uh, these two uh, main topics, which is the law, the Torah, the first five books of Moses, you know, the commandments, the uh, dietary laws, the ceremonial laws. But what's also important next to the law is the testimony, which is te the testimony of our Lord is the spirit of prophecy. When we read Revelation, the uh, 19th chapter, starting around the uh, 10th verse. So in these last days, brothers, okay, who are in tune with uh, with the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, you also have to be in tune with what? With prophecies. Okay. And not just stay in tune, but be occupied. Matter of fact, let's go into the word occupied real quick. It says occupied. Busy, active, you see. So in this truth, you got to be active, active in what prophecy. Okay, watch what's going on. Okay, uh, you know, around the world, especially okay um giving your uh attention or your focus to the uh the tactics of the move or the various moves of this uh devil which is uh esau edom it says occupied to engage the attention or energies they occupy themselves with video games <laughs> and that's an example of a lot of uh you know israelites in the world now there's something wrong you know having a uh, you know, video, you might have a PS5, you know, your Xbox, you want to play uh, God of War, you, you might want to play some GTA, okay? You know, there's nothing wrong with that, but if you put your all your, all your energy on that, man, that's that's going off. You see, you got to have that uh, perfect uh, balance in the truth, okay? You have to make prophecy your first uh, priority, you see that? So again, say right 39 and 1, but he that giveth his mind, which is your, your spirit, to the law, which is the, the Torah of the Most High, which his name is Yahweh, and is occupied, which is staying busy, 
and the meditation thereof. So if you occupied in the law, okay, the Lord, the Lord's gonna start blessing you with the spirit of prophecy. It says, We'll seek out the wisdom of all the agents and be occupied in prophecies. So one of the prophecies that's uh, currently happening is the prophecy of uh, Psalm 64. And this is in the NOT. It says, from the choir director, a Psalm of David. Psalm 64, it says, O God, which God is the title, his name is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, listen to my complaint. Protect my life from my enemy's threats. So these are meetings that's uh, going on out there in uh, Switzerland, in uh, uh, Davos or Davos, these are examples of the enemies of the Heavenly Father, you know, uh, coming together to speak about, you know, so-called world, world economic issues, which really, okay, the, uh, the main issue or the main uh, problem that's in the way of, uh, of these devils are, are you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? You are the biggest threat to this devil, okay? And not just your average Israelite, but the prophets, okay? So for you brothers that are in the highways and hedges, you know, bringing out the whole volume of the book, bringing out Yahweh Shai, bringing out prophecy, hey, you're the biggest threat to this devil, okay? Because he knows that in order for him, in order for Esau to fulfill his new world order, he, he has to get rid of the prophets. You see, matter of fact, let me get a precept. Cast him out from his excellency. I think that's also in Psalms. Khan, Psalm 62 and 4. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. See that? So really, man, uh, for you brothers that are watching the, you know, this uh, video, you know, these are meetings that you see going on in uh, in Switzerland and these are secret, okay, locations, you know, uh, by, by the mountain areas. Really, they are just meetings, okay, um, meetings of uh, Esau Edom to cast you down from your excellency, which is your power, man. See, hey, that's why Esau, he, he, he attacks... Uh, you know, uh, man's uh, masculin they call it masculinity, if that's the word. You know, they, they try to attack your uh, your testosterone levels. They try to uh, attack your, your honor, your integrity, your soul. You see, so Psalm 62, matter of fact, let me start at 1. Psalm 62 and 1, it says, To the chief musician, to Je Jethuthun, a psalm of David, Truly my soul waiteth upon, upon Yahweh, from him cometh salvation, which is Yahweh Shai. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense, right? Which is which is your faith. I shall not be greatly moved. You see? It says, I shall not be greatly moved. So you gotta be rooted in this truth, man, because you know, this devil, okay, he uh he's coming out with new new tactics, okay, new ways, okay, new uh schemes. To try to uh, throw you down from your excellency to separate you from your power. Verse 3 How long will you imagine mischief against men? Ye shall be slain, all of you. See that? So the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, man, once this uh, devil starts making moves, you know, the Lord's gonna start giving uh, spiritual powers to brothers, okay, to slay them. You see? How long will you imagine mischief against men? So these meetings. That's uh these meetings that are taking place out there in um in Switzerland. These are examples of imagining a mischief. Matter of fact, let me get a brief precept. Mischief against the Hebrews. Okay, that's in the uh, Maccabees. But let me get one more. Let me get um uh, Davos right here, right? It says top stories. World Economic Forum and Davos or Davos, Switzerland. You see, so 
hey, this is a uh, this is big news actually. Okay, if you're paying attention to prophecy, because one of the uh, most uh, famous news articles or newspaper, okay, they come out of uh, New York. Okay, for example, the Washington Post, the Wall Street Journal, you see, uh, Fortune, the New York Times, you see that, and you know a lot of uh, a lot of our uh, our people, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. The reason why you're not in tune, or the reason why you're not in, uh, okay, and in, intact with the uh, with prophecy. Is because you're distracted, okay? You're uh, you're, you're so busy, okay, in the you know in in the world, hey, that you don't even know what the you know what the heck is is going on around your surroundings. And we're not speaking about you know your uh, what's going on in your city or your state, you know, which that's just you know small matters. You know, everybody is aware of what's happening, you know, with these uh, you know, if you're in Texas, okay, uh, there might be a lot of uh, you know, laws going into you know gun control. Things like that. You might be here in California. You might hear about the uh, storms and the uh, the floods and the rain. Okay, these are small matters. Okay, everybody is aware about about these uh, small matters. But the great matters, okay, are are these annual meetings, man. That that's taking place in a uh, secret locations. You see that? So let's uh, click here real quick. It says the World Economic Forum, the worry and Davos globalization is under siege okay it says give me a second oh i think you gotta pay for this one this article damn let me uh, get another one let me just get the update the updates in the wall street journal it says the world economic forum annual meeting in davos kicks off in the swiss resort amid an energy crisis produced by war in ukraine you see so uh, these meetings that are taking place out there in Switzerland, it's not a, a one-day meeting, okay? There's actually a five-day meeting. I believe it's from January 15 to January 20. And right now we're in uh, January, what is it, 17. You see, it's a five-day meeting. And, uh, and, and diff different days of those meetings, okay, they'll bring, they'll bring up, uh, you know, topics of, uh, of importance. And one of those uh, topics... It says that the World Economic Forum annual meeting in Davos kicks off in the Swiss resort. Now, briefly, okay, for you brothers, okay, let me uh, pull a map. Okay, there's a map out there in uh, Switzerland of uh, uh, Davos or Davos. It says as a town in the Swiss Alps. You see that? So this is where Esau, okay, the devil, the the so-called white man, this is where he he hides himself. See, he hides himself, you know, and shit in in the middle of nowhere. Okay, uh, far east of uh, of Europe, Switzerland, right, Milan. But here, you see that, this is where this uh devil. Okay, has his uh, meetings. This is what this is what King David, okay, in the book of Psalm sixty four, he actually had visions of uh, these devils coming together. Okay, like like mobsters, like uh, politicians. Okay, to to speak about the uh, the downfall of you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and one of those downfalls. Okay, of, of a lot of our people are going to be through a, through a cyber attacks, you see? And an example of the uh, cyber attacks, like I just read here in the, um, in the live coverage, it says that the World Economic Forum's annual meeting in Davos kicks off in Swiss Resort and amid an energy crisis produced by the war in Ukraine, soaring inflation and rising interest rates. Now, what's going on in Ukraine? You know, you heard about the war that's been going on for about like, was it like seven months? Okay. But in Ukraine currently, okay, it's not just, you know, the war. You know, you might see tanks, you know, jets, you know, just, uh, you know, prophecy, you know, the uh, prelude of World War Three. But when you type in cyber attack, 
You see, and that that was one of the uh, the uh, topics of uh, part one. Okay, Klaus Schwab cyber attack on America. So really, okay, the cyber attacks. Whenever there's a, a major, okay, uh, you know, for example, during uh, the, the, the Crown Royal, you know, you, you know what I'm talking about, because you know, if I if I say it, you know, ESA's gonna start shutting down this channel. But what went on during during the years of uh, 20, 2019, the last day of twenty nineteen, all the way to uh, twenty twenty two, okay, hey, that started in uh, in China, okay, I believe that was in uh. It was in Beijing, somewhere in China, where this whole okay um, thingy majingy, you know, uh, started off. It started in China and it ended up where in America. You see how much more of these uh, cyber attacks that's uh, that's happening out there in, in Ukraine. Hey, that's gonna start to uh, spread here to Babylon. It says Russian hackers, which them Russians out there, okay, they're also Edomites. Okay, also those Ukrainians, okay, they're, they're brothers. And you can read the uh, history of uh, the book of uh, First Maccabees. You see, after the uh, death of uh, Alexander the Great, okay, he, uh, he gave his uh, four generals, you know, different, uh, you know, uh, different territories. Okay, and those four generals actually, okay, um, uh, descent. Okay, you know, back to Esau, Edom, and these are uh, Russians, these Ukrainians, you know, like like Chris Zelensky, Vladimir Putin, and these devils, they descend back to the seed of uh, those uh, four generals. You see, and that same spirit of a uh, war, the the spirit of division, the, the spirit of a uh, Isaiah nineteen chapter, the Egyptian against the Egyptian, and it's happening now. You got Russian hackers allegedly target Ukrainian press. Briefing about cyber attacks. So how much more Russia, pursuing to the prophecy of Ezekiel, the uh, 38th chapter, Gog and Magog, you see, uh, now trying to attack America, man. Because, hey, them Russians, hey, those are the uh, the, uh, the strongest Edomites when it comes down to uh, to the sword. You see, hey, them, them Russians, they, they don't play around, man. See, it says Russian hackers allegedly target Ukrainian press briefing about cyber attacks it says russian hackers allegedly targeted a ukrainian organization earlier today shortly before it hosted a press briefing about the ongoing cyber attacks in the country it says uh we just faced a cyber attack on our data which is information platform committed by russia one of the event hosts said at the beginning of the press conference we understand they don't like to hear the truth about this war but we're not to be stopped. We are online. We are bro broadcasting. So if these uh, if these devils think they have the truth, whether you know it, it be about war or just uh, you know what's going on out there in Ukraine, hey, how much more of this truth that we're bringing out, okay, which is the truth of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai exposing, you know the uh, the secret council of the wicked. So let's go back to Psalm sixty two. And and three, how long will you imagine mischief against men? And that man, that's a Hebrew Israelite man. Second Maccabees seven and thirty one. And thou, and thou, which is Esau, that has been the author of all mischief against who the Hebrews, which is the Hebrew Israelites, should not escape the hands of Yahweh. Yeah. So this devil Esau, Edom. Okay, in his uh, spirit, since he's a proud man, he thinks that imagining mischief, you know, uh, you know, putting water on your fluoride, you know, creating new, uh, uh, you know, GMO foods, you know, um, putting, uh, 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 you know, opening portals for these uh, demons to uh, come into the, uh, you know, the uh, terrestrial plane and start bugging out your family members, you know, trying to, uh, you know, separate you from your power. You know, all these uh, examples of mischief, you know, Esau thinks he's going to get away with it, man. But guess what? Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai said in verse 3, Ye shall be slain, all of you. You see that? And that's happening spiritually. You see how the Lord is slain every single, every single Edomite in the spirit. Let me get a precept. This is the book of...
think that's an Isaiah 11 and 4. Let me see. Khan. I say 11 and 4, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth, which is in uh, Matthew the fifth chapter, blessed is the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, you see, and, and the earth. Okay, that's a uh, symbolism. Okay, to uh, Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So this, this earth that's speaking about the wicked of Esau, with the rod of his mouth, you see, with, with his truth. And with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. See that? So the breath of the... Matter of fact, I'm going to have to screenshot this, man. There's a beautiful precept. I have never brought this precept out, but it's coming out. Okay, there's the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, Al Shai. It says, and with the breath of his lips, which is this truth, which is the mouth, which is which are the prophets. We are the uh, the lips or the mouth of Yahweh, Bashim, Al Shai here on earth. And with the breath of the, of his lips shall he slay the wicked. So when you go back to Psalm 62 and 3, it says, Ye shall be slain, all of you, with what? With the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that we just read in Isaiah 11 and 4. As a bowing wall shall ye be, and as a to totering fence. Verse 4, they only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. You see? So these devils, okay, the reason why they have the annual meetings is to try to uh, cast you brothers down from your excellency. Okay, they delight in lies, you see? And these, okay, these are meetings that's taking place out there in uh, Switzerland for so-called five days out there in uh, uh Davos or Davos, however you spell that word, okay, which kind of sounds like David. <laughs> you see, Davos, David. I'm not sure if that's what it means, but you know, these are uh, meetings, okay, they're really, uh, okay, uh, uh, meetings to speak about secretly about you, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So let's get more uh, info. It says, Give me a second. Let me get it here. Type in, uh, what is Davos 2023? Okay, there's one right here. It says, Davos worries about a poly crisis. Okay, Khan. There's one right here. It says, uh, Davos or Davos 2023 day one. Okay, you see that? This is from January 16th to the 20th. So it's 16, that's one. 17 is two. Okay, 18, three, 19, four. So it's a five day, it's a five day meeting. It says, Welcome to day one of the World Economic Forum's annual meeting in Davos. Each morning, will bring you a rundown of what to expect, the sessions you might want to keep an eye on, any essential pre-reading, and things are good to know. It says, from the first time since 2020, the annual meeting returns to its, its traditional January slot. Okay, we'll bring together leaders from across government, business, and civil society at a critical moment for the world. You see, they'll bring leaders, but really these leaders are all mobsters, man. They're all fucking, uh, if you th when you think about a mobster, okay, in, in the world, you, you might think about, you know, an an Italian mobster, which, you know, they're Israelite foreigners, you know, out there in New York, well, they're, they're from uh, Sicily, okay, but really these mobsters, hey, these are the so-called uh, Rothschilds, these, the so-called Illuminati, and uh, King David actually, he prophesied, okay, about you devils, this is Psalm 64 and 1. Oh, yeah, I will listen to my complaint, protect my life from my enemy's threats. Hide me from the plots, right, from the meetings or the annual meetings or the secret annual meetings of this evil mob. From this gang of wrongdoers, you see that? So these devils, you know, these leaders, these uh, government officials, these are uh, businessmen. Okay, these are all examples of mobsters and gang leaders, man. You know, are, are wrongdoers. 
See, you know, because Jake in the world, you might be an Israelite, you might, you know, still be in the world. You call yourself a crib, you call yourself a blood, you know, oh, hey, I'm from 38th Street or I'm from an ancient street. Or, I'm, I'm from this block or, well, guess what, man? You're, you're, not, you're not a real gangster, man. You're not a real uh, so-called, a real gangster, a real mob. It's these devils, man. They control your block. They control your city. They control your state. They control your nation. They control the, the food supply. Okay, your, your your water, your electricity. You see that? That's what it means to be a real a real mob, man. They sharpen their tongues like swords. And what was Esau's blessing? The sword. An example of Esau's uh, sword, spiritually speaking, is the words that come out of his mouth. And aim their bitter words like arrows. They shoot from ambush at the innocent, which is you brothers and sisters, attacking suddenly. And fearlessly, you see that? Like what? Like cyber attacks. That's that's the next, okay, uh, uh, ambush attack on you Israelites. Okay, these are uh, cyber attacks. These are uh, uh, weird and bizarre weather patterns. You see uh, uh, man-made earthquakes. Uh, GMO foods. These are examples of how Esau shoots at the innocent and throws in them uh the war tactics attacking suddenly and fearlessly they encourage each other to do evil and plan right the annual meetings how to set their traps in secret and they and they say to themselves who will ever notice they ask as they plot their crimes they say we have devised the perfect plan. Yes, the human heart and mind are cunning. You see, so these devils really think in their mind or spirit that they have the, the perfect plan. Or oh, we're about to go throwing them cyber attacks to these uh to these fucking webbacks, to these uh, negroes, to these uh, savages, to these two thirds of a human being. Okay, let's throw in some cyber attacks. Let's throw in some GMO foods. Let's throw in some poison. Okay. Let's uh, uh, wipe them out from their excellency. Matter of fact, let me get the book of Psalms 83, man. Okay, because this is all prophecy here. Psalms 83 and 1. It says, A song or psalm of Asaph. Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh, Shemel Shai. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Yahweh, Shemel Shai. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee. Yeah, so these are. Uh, these devils, like Klaus Schwab, okay, um, you know, Harry Kissinger and all these uh Rothschilds and Rockefellers, the so-called Illuminati, those are enemies of the Heavenly Father. So how much more of their enemies of the Heavenly Father, they're also enemies of the prophets, man. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. You see, and there's an example of lifting up their head, man, with pride. These are annual meetings. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thine hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel, right? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans may be no more in remembrance. You see, because, hey, this devil is very, he's, he's scared, man. He knows that we're waking up. He sees the prophets in the highways and hedges. Hey, that's why this devil, he, he sends control opposition he, he might send your own um your own people to to try to uh, cause mischief he, this devil is so cunning that he'll use your own people against you man you see to cast you out from your excellency they have said come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of israel yashur allah okay this devil he don't want you to be a prince of the power man because that's what israel means yashur allah yah he sharp prince allah power may be no more in remembrance for they have consulted together okay the annual meetings with one consent they are confederate against thee the tabernacles of edom you so-called white people you devils man whether you're from russia whether you're from ukraine whether you're from france from spain whether you're from uh damn germany okay whether you're a so-called okay uh babylonian you see, you're Edom and the Ishmaelites, you so-called, uh, uh, you, you dirty ass camels, man. Okay. 
you you dirty as a, a prophet Muhammad's. You Ishmaelites, man, of Moab and the Hagreens. And that's the spirit because these are uh, annual meetings. Okay, like you, re you read here, across the government, business, and civil society. Hey, a lot of these powerful uh, heathens, hey, they're Ishmaelites, Edomites, Moabites, from, from China, whether they're from uh, 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 Iran, Iraq, you know, Elamites. You see, these, these are examples of the leaders from across across the world under the theme cooperation is a fragmented world it says we'll look at how we can tackle the numerous and interlinked challenges and that's a spirit so these devils they secretly plot how to overthrow okay the challenges that try to stop their their new world order which which are the prophets man we are the 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 biggest threat to this devil is the man that you see in the highways and hedges bringing out the, the spiritual truth, okay, of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai. The world is facing and finds solutions, you see. So this devil is trying to find a solution, okay, through public-private co cooperation of how to throw down our excellency, man. You see, now here are uh, sessions to watch. They have crystal word ceremonies. I see you as a spirit. I see you. That that's that's a, a a big brother, big brother Esau. Okay, he sees us. Matter of fact, let me get a priest, man. Okay, uh, Jeremiah. Well, guess what? Yahweh Bashmel Shai sees you, devils. Okay, you know, because Esau Esau thinks he. You know, he, you know, I, I see the prophets. I know what they're up to. Okay, I'm about to uh, go throw in an ambush, a cyber attack. Hey, but guess what? Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, he, he sees you, devils. Jeremiah, secret places. This is the book of Jeremiah 23 and 24. Can any hide himself in secret, secret places? Yeah, like Davos, like Switzerland. That's an example of a secret place. That I shall not see him, saith the Lord. Do not I fill the heaven and the earth, saith the Lord. So this devil Esau Edom, he thinks he sees us, but guess what? Yahweh Shemel Shai Shai sees him. That's what he said in the prophecy of Jeremiah 23 and 24. Can any hide himself in secret places? You see, and this there's a secret meeting in Switzerland. That's an example of you know, a, a very uh, mysterious or secret place where this devil tries to hide himself with his uh, counsel. It says, open forum and harmony with nature. Okay, chief economics outlook. Electricity as the backbone of an integrated energy system. Podcast, you see, so these are, um, you know, if brothers want to go to this website, it's called the World Economic Forum. Okay. This is where the, this devil has his uh, his plots and his schemes of, of how to overthrow. Okay, uh, the excellency. Okay, of, of you of you Israelites. See that, and I believe there's another one too from uh, um, Jake out here. There's a there's a brother from. GMS upon I think that's a brother from either South or North Carolina, but hey, this brother he also made a, a lesson. And hey, make sure you subscribe. Okay, entitled Keep a Close Eye on the Workers of Iniquity. You see that? So subscribe to this brother. Okay, he also has a in-depth prophecy. Okay, uh, of these uh devils. Hey, we got watchmen all, all over the world, man. We got watchmen in, out there in, uh, in the United Kingdom. We got watchmen in Mexico. And we got uh, the greatest bulk of watchmen. Here, they're here in Babylon the Great, whether you're from uh, Utah, whether you're from Oregon, okay, uh, Texas, New York, Connecticut. See, hey, we got uh, prophets shit, all over the world, man. But there you go, man. You know, just want to update you brothers on what's going on with these uh, secret meetings out there in uh, Switzerland, man. You know, stay tuned for uh, more prophecy, Lord's will. Again, secret meeting in Switzerland. More cyber attacks. 
And this was a part two. You know, Lord swell I'm able to uh, go into more lessons in prophecy, but also lessons in uh, Issachar. Because Issachar, you know, you being your so-called Mexicans, okay, you got to stay in uh, tune with prophecy as well. Okay, uh, Northern Kingdom got to step it up, man. With that, I want to say Shalom.